welcome to our look at the cryptocurrency markets. And today we've got uh, George McDonough from KR1. Uh, very warm welcome to Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for I'm coming in. Um, and I just want to talk to you today really about what's happening in the, in the crypto space. Sure. Um, we've had obviously a very strong run up in Bitcoin uh, and the wider crypto market in, in the first part of 2019. Do you, do you think that we've really hit that point where we're in that? resurgent bull market do you think it's coming back or do you think this is a sort of a bull trap effectively um yeah so i think uh i think we'll see that it's still very early days um i, I do think that sentiment has changed considerably um if if someone was to ask you know is the bear market finished i'd say yes i think it is certainly when you look at the the cycle the four-year cycle traders um they're they're all saying that the volume shift that we had a few weeks ago was big enough to sort of bring the market back back into a, into a new a new regime I guess you'd call it um, and so and so yeah uh, uh, but it's still very early days um, I think the next resistance level is clearly 6k um, which was a huge support level uh, at one point uh, many months ago and then we fell through it and went all the way back down to uh, three thousand one hundred dollars and uh, yeah so uh, that's the next resistance level and I think don't think we're going to break through it in the very first run at it. Um, we'll come up and down and we'll, we'll hit that level uh, a couple of times, I'd imagine, before we, we, we move on up. And what do you think, you know, what's driving this? Like we've, we saw some, some movement around, uh, you know, some of the news stories that we've seen. Uh, there's been regulatory, obviously, changes yep. that are happening in the background throughout all this. What, what do you think has been the tipping point here? Is it just a technical thing? Uh, to, some, to some degree, it's, it's uh, timing. Um, you know, the, the, there's a certain amount of fear and capitulation in the market after a very long bear market like we've had. Um, and eventually that, that gets down to a level where people start getting out their wallets again because it goes from fear to an opportunity. It looks cheap again. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think, I think, you know, Bitcoin's been doing this since day one, really, uh, um, these, these cycles. Um, so it's that, but also uh, people are looking for, for positives. Um, there are There is positive news that comes out, especially from uh, an institutional perspective. Clearly, you know, the major financial institutions in the world are now looking at this technology with far more interest. Um, and other, other uh, sort of, I don't know, pieces of the puzzle uh, in the ecosystem are beginning to, to take shape, um, like custody and various other things. Um, and that, that, those are sort of key pieces that are uh, beginning to, to to really sort of come together. Um, and so, so yeah, people are people. Um, it gets to the bottom. People start looking for positives. They find those positives, and then there's a big shift, like like I say, we had, and we're back to the races. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, it's not going to be immediate. Sure. And do do you think that you know there's an ETF coming? Are we are we get, going to get that? Bitcoin well, ETF? I mean, I mean, they've they've uh, uh, sort of suggested. The fact that it is inevitable, but uh, that it, it's not going to be now. Um, uh, I mean, you can you know, place your bets on when, but you okay. know, um, I think I think as this asset class becomes far more uh, interesting to to the major financial institutions, um, eventually the, the the pressure to have one will will give way, and and, and we will have one. But um, as and when that happens, who knows? So yeah, we're just going to wait and see, I guess. Yeah. And, do you think there's any, you know, we're looking, obviously, we'd always talk about Bitcoin in mm -hmm. this space. What, what other um, currencies are we looking at? What, what else is of interest? You know, we've seen a rally, obviously, across the board, but are there any in particular, Ether, Bitcoin yeah. Cash? What's your, what's well, your it's, thoughts it's, on those it's a, it's a fairly strange uh, uh, space because you have effectively some very different kinds of assets that all seem to follow Bitcoin. Uh, uh, in terms of sentiment and, 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 and price, you know, when, when Bitcoin runs, the rest run. But really, they're, they're doing very different things. So Ether and Bitcoin uh, are very different. Uh, uh, you know, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. Um, uh, Ether is a crypto asset that's used to pay for hosting of smart contracts on the block on, on, on their particular smart contract blockchain. Um, whether the market's actually differentiating between these things yet is, 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 is clearly uh, uh, fairly opaque. But... Um, my my company is far well. I mean, clearly, it's interested in Bitcoin. It's it's the biggest uh, uh, in the space. But there's so many other areas this technology can touch, and there's potentially huge growth in in the smart contract space. Um, and and another area that's beginning to appear, which is called the interchain uh, uh, blockchains, which are trying to connect 
these blockchains together um, so as to be able to move assets around because you know you can have private and public chains there's there's a there's a sort of a, an explosion of innovation that's happening and we don't yet know where you know the major sort of rich veins of value lie um clearly bitcoin's one um but yeah so so there's there's a there's a sort of endless amount of interesting mm. assets that appear. Um, New tokens all the time. I mean, how many? What are we up to now? Oh, it'll, be, the, it'll be that in the universe. universe. Probably five, six thousand or something. Only only a very very small number of any sort of major interest. Um, but you you know so you have you have uh, you know cryptocurrencies, crypto assets, and then these stable coins, and they all sort of have a have a, a relationship with each other, um, and. Um, yeah, it's a sort of question from an investment perspective. It's a question of of where you think the the major value lies. You know, in a store of value like Bitcoin, or or, or um, smart contract systems that allow a service, a sort of decentralized service of some kind, far cheaper than a, cent a centralized entity can 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 provide. And tokens are very important in producing that. That, that decentralization um, because you haven't got a central actor to make decisions you have to sort of coordinate people with tokens and then stable coins are, are all about volatility um, and the fact that these assets are so volatile um, but you don't necessarily want to exit the entire crypto sphere um, into a fiat currency you, you, you want to stay in the uh, uh, in, in that space because of how frictionless it is and so stable coins are also becoming very very popular um, so those are the three the, those are sort of three main areas really. and what's the most exciting I mean you're obviously uh, the CEO of KR1 yeah. and can you tell us a bit about what, what you're looking at I mean this we've got your uh, share price up yes. here and not doing too badly at all well, we're what? doing fine uh, yeah so our particular focus is uh, seed stage invest investments into really exciting early stage blockchain businesses mostly building on the um, uh, smart contract platforms um, so decentralized applications so clearly Bitcoin is you know is a major part of you know, more than 50% of the uh, entire space but there are some really interesting new business models that can be um, uh, sort of uh, uh, created around this smart contract technology on Ethereum, but there are others. There are other platforms because clearly scaling is a massive area of uh, uh, interest because of you know the fact that these blockchains are fairly slow at the moment. Um, and in order for in order for us to see um, you know the the, the true uh, uh, potential of these platforms, you know, scaling is a, is a major issue. Um, so there are lots of Ethereum type platforms trying to trying to. Uh, come up with new ways of getting this scaling but ethereum has the network effect there are hundreds of applications that are built on this platform my business is trying to assess and find the diamonds that are that are building on on not on just that platform but 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 in that in that area um and and it's tremendously exciting because mm. you know you, you can see huge huge growth on, in some in excitement and price um on some of these assets Lovely. And what's your so just to wrap up? What's yep. your you know top tip? What, what you know what can you tell our traders? What's your top tip? Your top idea for the crypto space at the moment? Bearing in mind that on the uh, markets.com platform we can see you can trade uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Ethereum, Litecoin, or Ripple. Well, it's it's a funny it's a funny space because it's it's fairly tribal. Mm. Um, people have their favourites and. Uh, uh, um, it's still too early, I think, to be a maximalist in any particular way. But for me, uh, clearly Ethereum and Bitcoin are the most interesting. Um, Bitcoin has to move very slowly because of what it is, because it's basically based around trust, trust of the system that's more than 10 years old. And it's got by far the biggest volumes running through it. They have to move incredibly slowly in terms of, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, Bitcoin's not scaling. Well, it's not really meant to just yet. It's, it's, it's got to spend a lot of time uh, uh, getting to, to, to where it needs to be. And people are building second layer technologies on it, like the Lightning Network, which is, which is very exciting. Ethereum can move a lot quicker and iterate, and there's a huge amount of experimentation going on it. So it kind of, it kind of, you kind of have to sort of educate your, yourself a bit in terms of, those different two different areas really you know, store of value money cryptocurrency and 
uh, crypto assets and tokens and smart contract platforms. Um, they're both hugely exciting. Um, so yes, anything in those two arenas uh, would, should do you fairly well. <laughs> yeah, thanks, George. Thanks no, very no much problem. for your time. Thanks, man. And that's everything for our look at cryptos this week. Uh, join us again on X-ray. We'll have more updates on the cryptocurrency market in the coming weeks. Thank you.